Hi everyone, Carl here from selfsufficienthub.com and I'm just on the Dorset Somerset border. We've left our house and we've come to visit my in-laws house because we're allowed to now with the lockdown being socially responsible and keeping social distancing in place. It's my son's birthday and as we were coming down this beautiful drive I found up here on this tree behind me that we're going to go and have a closer look at a great edible mushroom it's one of the fantastic edible mushrooms of the summer it comes in early summer and it can last right till the end of summer in some years don't know if you can see it up behind me there but that is the dryads saddle so we're going to take a closer look now as i said it's my son's birthday he decided he's going to come and uh, be in this video with me Say hello, Rockus. Hello. <laughs> so, do you want to come down here, mate? You can take my knife. So here we have it. It's the Dryad's Saddle. And as you can see, another name for it is the Pheasant Back. My other son's just come to play as well. All right, Taran? Another name for it is the Pheasant Back. And you can see it gets that name because of these very, very distinctive markings. And this one here is actually a bit older than... I would want to eat it. And it feels just a bit, like it's got a bit cardboardy, which means we're not, we're not really gonna be eating it, but we won't do it any damage by slicing a bit off to show you. So do you wanna slice a bit, a bit off, son? Okay. Yeah. So I think if we just slice this one off, across there somewhere. So, so just how hard it is to cut there tells you all you need to know really about the edibility of it. When it's young enough to eat, it's going to be quite soft and moist. Pieces of this actually aren't too bad. So maybe I will take some home and see if I can salvage enough to cook up just to show you. But we'll see. This will either make the cut or it won't. But as you can see, it's a really distinctive mushroom. This one is growing on a, a dead sycamore tree. But they'll grow on almost all deciduous trees and stumps so it's one of the largest mushrooms in the uk i think it is the largest mushroom we have but don't quote me on that they will grow sometimes to such a size that they can't even support their own weight but where they're attached to the tree you'll see is really quite substantial because of the weight that it's going to carry if it gets to maturity the spores underside on the underside are that irregular pattern. And if you find this on a tree, there's really not a lot you can mistake it for that's gonna do you any harm, at least in this country. So that's the Dryad Saddle. We're, like I say, we'll take a piece home, see how we get on with it. And uh, if it cooks up any sense, then I will post that video. So in terms of taste, some people say that raw, it tastes a bit like watermelon. Um, to me, it's quite a subtle flavor. Cooked, it tastes like just mushrooms, just like you know most of the mushrooms that we eat. And I tend to prefer it cooked anyway. I've heard that it makes really good stock if you dry it out and crush it down. So um, perhaps that's something we can try with this one if it's a little bit too old to be palatable but either way let's see how we get on okay so we've just got it home and i'm actually feeling a lot more confident about it because um i've cut it down the middle and it's actually quite moist which is a good sign so um although when i felt it first on the tree the outside felt quite cardboardy and there are some bits that i am going to be discarding but mostly where it's that lovely white moist inside I think is gonna be uh, perfect actually for cooking. So I'm really looking forward to it. So we're gonna slice it up now and fry some of it off just in a pan with a little bit of oil and see how we get on. So we've got it, got it in the pan there now. And I have to say it smells delicious. Even my wife and daughter who aren't a big fan of mushrooms normally are commenting on the smell saying it smells nice and I'm expecting it to taste just as nice. So once it looks that colour both sides, we're going to uh, 
pull it out of the pan. There it is, all finished. And I have to say, it is actually really delicious. My daughter and my son have both tried my it. My son's first impression was that it was bacony, and I have to say, I agree. With that with a fried egg on some toast is what I'm gonna be having for breakfast tomorrow. So definitely thumbs up from me. Best of luck. If you find these videos valuable, there's several ways you can support them. The easiest of which is to subscribe to our channel, press that like button, leave a comment down below, all the things you are used to hearing from me and others. But uh, they really do make a difference, so please do it. And thanks for watching. So, uh, say goodbye, Torin. Bye. Say goodbye, Rockers. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.